my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting this fun Easter Bunny painting. Some of you requested a tutorial on painting tulips for Easter, but I decided to give you the whole Easter scene. This is my own design. I'm going to link my Facebook page where you can download the pattern I created for this painting. If you would like to see how I created this fun, colorful Easter Bunny painting, stay with me and let's paint together. The colors that I'm using today are titanium white, medium yellow, lamp black or black, burnt amber or brown, magenta, purple, turquoise, and sap green. Of course, you can use similar colors that you have at home. Today, I'm working on nine by 12 canvas and I have placed my pattern where I want it and I'm holding it in place with painter's tape. And the only thing I'm going to trace for now are these two horizon lines. For my background, I have my turquoise, sap green, medium yellow and titanium white and I'm going to mix a light warm green with my yellow, my green and my titanium white. And I want this soft yellowy green. For my background I'm going to be using this sponge, this damp sponge. You can use a brush, but this will go very quickly. And I'm going to pick up some of my yellowy green. And I'm going to do the center area of my background. And I'm going to mix now a darker version of the same color just by adding more green to my previous mixture. I want like a medium green and with my sponge, I'm going to do the bottom part. You can do the sides if you want to. And I'm going to blend these colors just a bit, only when they are merging. And I want to make this part brighter. So I'm going to pick up my yellow. And I'm going to go over. You can always adjust your colors while you're painting like I'm doing now. Okay, I'm going to pick up my green again and mix it with some yellow. And I'm going to pick up the sponge and I'm going to create the effect of bushes or trees in this area just by dabbing the sponge. And I'm going to pick up some of my turquoise and mix it with white to create a lighter, a much lighter turquoise a soft color and again with my sponge I'm going to dab this this nice pale turquoise up here you can do the sides too as you're going along and we want to blend these colors a little bit just to create a very soft effect and I'm adding more green as I go along and with the clean side of my sponge, I'm going to pick up some yellow. You can play with your background colors. Just, just keep them light. See, this is going to add some highlight on my background. A little bit more yellow. Just to create the nice effect of the forest on the background 
Okay, we are going to let this dry. Once your background is dry, we're going to bring our pattern back. We are going to secure it in place with painter's tape. And I'm going to go ahead and trace the rest of my composition. Okay, I'm going to be working now with a small liner brush. And I'm going to pick up some black and brown. And I'm going to create this dark brown, black brown. And I'm adding lots of water to make sure the paint is very fluid. I'm going to start defining the bunny. So I'm going to go around, around the eye, define the eyes. And I'm going to add more brown. I want to lighten up the brown now. And I'm going to define the ears. I'm just going on the edges. And I'm zigzagging my brush. This is our first coat of paint, so don't worry about it too much. I'm going to add a little color around here, around the eyes. Now I'm going to define the outer part of his body and the little feet. I'm picking up some magenta now. I'm going to do the nose. It's like a, a like a Y, like the letter Y, and it goes down like this. I'm now switching to a round brush that has a little bit of a point, and I'm picking up some titanium white, and I'm going to paint the inside, the eyeball of the bunny, just a little bit so it doesn't look green. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint my bunny white. Your bunny can be any color you want. My bunny is going to be white with some brown. It can even be a fun color like pink or blue. But mine is going to be white. I think it's going to pop really good on the green background. And I'm going to paint the bunny, but I'm not going to go over these lines, these defining lines that I did. I don't want to end up with a white blob of paint. I want to see my bunny. And this is your first layer, so don't worry too much if it's not perfect. We just want to get rid of this green behind the bunny. I'm zigzagging my brush, creating a bit of the effect of the fur. And I'm moving my brush the way the fur would naturally grow. Okay, we're going to let the bunny dry. I'm going to start working on the tulips. I'm going to be using some floating medium. This is an acrylic medium that really helps blending colors and making sure they float on the canvas. And I'm going to be using this flat brush to do the leaves of the tulips. I'm going to pick up some of my acrylic medium, my floating medium, and I'm going to make sure the bristles are covered, but I'm removing the excess at the same time. I'm going to pick up green on one corner of my brush and yellow on the other corner. And I'm going to blend these two colors this way. And I'm also going to add white with the yellow just to make the yellow more opaque. For the tulips, I'm going to start painting the leaves first, the back leaves anyways. And this is how my brush is loaded. And I'm going to start from the bottom up. And I'm going to come to the chisel of my brush. And I'm going to do a few more. And I'm 
coming over my two lips, but that's okay. And I have just have green on my brush and I can do some darker greens, just dark green on the back to give more, more contrast. If you can't see your tulips because of the leaves, look at your pattern to give you an idea, then you're going to spot them. I'm going to go ahead and put my first coat of paint on my tulips, and I'm using the same round brush I use for my bunny. For my tulips, I'm going to use magenta, yellow, and purple. I'm going to start with my, my magenta, and I have six tulips, so two of them are going to be of each color and I'm just putting a base coat. This is going to help me see where my tulips are and will cover the green on the background. I'm going to make this one pink as well with magenta. I'm going to paint one of the Easter eggs magenta as well. I'm going to pick up my purple color and I'm going to paint this one purple and I'm giving them a teardrop shape. I'm going to paint this one purple as well. And I'm going to paint one of the eggs purple and my Last two tulips, I'm going to use my medium yellow. Yellow is a very translucent color, but it is covering very well. And for the last egg, I'm going to mix some of my turquoise with white. I'm going to create a paler turquoise. The white gives the color much more opacity, the white paint. Okay, I'm going to paint this one. I'm going to go back to the bunny and add a second coat of white because I want him to be very, very white and pop out, pop from the canvas. And again, I'm leaving the brown so I know the definition where the face, the feet, everything is. My bunny is going to be white with some brown. So I'm going to pick up some of my brown and I'm going to add white, a little bit of white to make it lighter. And I'm going to, to start adding more definition. I'm going to add some of this brown around the eyes. And I'm just patting my brush more almost like a zigzaggy movement to add some fur effect. I'm gonna go up here, up here on the ear. And I'm gonna add a some in here too. and on the head and a little bit on the side and I'm going to create a little bit the effect here of the nose and I'm blending with a clean brush And I'm going to start adding the finishing on the fur at the bottom here. This fur is on top of his little paws, his little feet. I'm adding some definition, some shadow in here. And also on the back, I'm going to add a bit of the brown in here. And a little bit on the ear here. I'm 
And again, I'm going to blend with a clean brush, adding a sum at the bottom to give more depth. And this is basically just defining the bunny a little bit more. With the brown and some black, with a black brown, I'm going to paint his eyes, the iris. You can do the iris any color you want. They can be blue or black or brown. And I'm going to add a dot of white in the eye just to give it a highlight. And I'm going to go over the nose just to define it because it's disappear a little bit with the white. So I'm going to go over and define it again. I'm moving now to my ankle brush. This is a 3.8 I believe, but it's small enough that I can go inside the ear and I can do some small detail on the bunny. So I'm picking up my floating medium on the whole brush, removing the excess, and I'm going to pick up some of my magenta just at the toe of the brush and I'm going to blend keeping the color at the toe of the brush. And I'm going to add some floating inside the ear to create that nice pink effect on the ear. So I'm just going to press my brush at the top and move it down. And because I have my floating medium, it blends it for me. And I'm going to do the same on the other ear. I'm going to go at the top and I'm going to move my brush down and I'm going to add some in here too. I'm going to let the bunny dry. Let's finish our tulips. For the tulips, I'm going to be using the same angle brush. Let's do the pink ones. I have some floating medium on my brush. I'm going to pick up white at the toe of my brush and magenta at the heel. And I'm going to blend this, these two colors. I want to make sure that both colors are blended on the brush before I go on the canvas. Let's start with this one. I'm going to define the bottom of my tulip by pressing my brush with the white at the bottom. And I'm going to go around. And I've defined the bottom. I'm now going to do the back petal of the flower and I'm pressing my brush I'm creating a bit of a of a seashell I'm going to do a side petal now one of the side petals and I'm going to bring it up and come down and wiggle my brush a bit. Now I'm going to do the next petal. I'm pressing my brush at the bottom with the white at the bottom and I'm coming up and I'm going to add some movement. And again on this side, I'm coming around. And my first tulip is done. I'm going to do the next tulip the same way. I'm going to start by defining the bottom. I'm going to do the back petal. I'm going to do a side petal. I'm adding some movement and then I'm coming back. And around. And I'm going to do another petal to overlap all of this. And I'm sliding my brush up. And I'm going to add some movement here when I'm, while I'm coming down. And I can touch up if, if I need to. Let's do the purple ones. And I'm loading my brush the same way. This time I have white at the toe and purple 
at the heel and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the back pedal. I'm going to do a side pedal in here. And I'm adding a top pedal and I'm coming up and I'm going to add some movement here. And uh, the bottom. I'm going to do this one the same way. For the yellow, I'm going to pick up yellow and pink at the toe. And I'm going to blend like, like the other ones. This is just to add to the yellow ones a little more, more pizzazz. And I'm going to do the bottom and the back, the back pedal. And I'm going to add now a side pedal. It doesn't matter if you start with this pedal or this pedal. So I follow the flower and I wiggle a bit when I'm inside the flower. You can touch up here if it doesn't look good. You can also add a little bit of white with the yellow to add more opacity to the yellow. If you mix a little bit of white with the yellow, the yellow will cover better. Okay, and I'm going to do the, the top pedal. And I'm going to wiggle my brush because I'm at the center of the flower. And I'm going to come down on the side here. For our last yellow tulip, I'm going to pick up yellow and purple. And I'm going to add a little bit of white just so the yellow covers better. And I'm going to do define the bottom and the back, the back pedal and one of my side pedals. And my top pedal. Let's work on the eggs. For this blue egg, I have some floating medium on my brush and I'm going to pick up some of the blue. I'm going to do some floating on that egg. I'm adding a little drop of black, very small amount. And again, I only want this on the toe of my brush. And I'm going to add a shadow underneath. I'm going to do the same with the magenta. I have some floating medium and I'm picking up some magenta only on the toe and a tiny, tiny drop of black just to make the color darker. And I'm going to add some shadow underneath as well. And my purple egg I'm going to do the same, but because it's so dark, I'm only using black at the toe. Let's finish our bunny. With my angled brush, I'm going to pick up some brown and blend it a bit. Everything has to be blended so it looks better when we apply it on the, on the bunny. That way it's, it's blended a little better. I'm going to start adding some, the illusion of darker in here, close to the head on the top of his ear. And on the top of the head, I'm gonna do a bit of floating right in here with the brown. And a little bit in here, just to add depth. And some in here on the sides of the ear. And on this side.
we can add a bit of shadow in here on the feet at the bottom and on the bottom part here too this is where we want the darker and on the back side I have my floating medium and I'm going to pick up some of my turquoise blue just on the toe and I'm going to add a little bit of this as a shadow and underneath the head a little bit under here too just to give him more make him more fun give him more color and around the cheeks I'm now going to do some floating with white always keeping the color just on the toe of the brush and I'm going to add some floating on the side of the ear just imitating some bunny hairs in here and some in here as well and I'm blending and on the side here when the cheeks really white and here very white too I'm going to add some at the top of the ear here a little bit of floating You can paint your bunny in the colors that you want but it's always good to add a little bit of dimension I'm just blending now and I'm going to add some white on this side of the ear too adding a little white on the top of the feet so they pop up more Some nice white cheeks, big cheeks. We're going to add some floating at the top of the eggs to give them more dimension. I'm going to float some white at the top. And with my round brush, I'm going to add some shine on the eggs like this. Just a dot to show that they are they are nice and shiny and bright. Let's finish our tulips. I'm using my angle brush and I have green at the toe and yellow at the heel. And I can add a drop of white at the heel. And I'm going to make sure every tulip has a stem and basically I'm just going to press at the top here and bring the stem down I'm going to make sure the stem is right in here and I'm going to bring it down once the tulips are done we can add more of the leaves we can add some that are in front doing them the same way as we did when we started I'm using the flat brush with green and yellow I'm going to add the whiskers I'm going to use my angled brush for the whiskers you can use a liner brush but I feel I have more control with my angled brush and I'm just going to add some whiskers coming down with white and if they are too thick just clean them up a little bit with um, a clean brush and they have some coming up as well some up here too I think 
Okay, our bunny is done, our eggs are done, our flowers are done, but we're going to add a little bit of greenery in here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is with my round brush, I'm going to pick up some of my sap green, and I'm going to add a bit of a shadow underneath the bunny, so he's not just floating. And some shadow underneath the eggs. And with my flat brush, I'm going to pick up some of the dark green. I'm going to add some grass around the bunny, around the eggs, just by going like that. just flicking my brush up and creating the effect of grass. And we're going to put in some in here too. going to mix some yellow with white creating a pale yellow and I'm going to add more grass just uh, to create some dimension especially at the front Okay, my friends, our Easter bunny painting is done. The last thing I did, I took the painting to the sink and I covered the area of the bunny with some paper towel. And with a round brush, I splatter some magenta, some turquoise and some white to give the painting a more festive look like confetti all over. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy doing this painting. I hope you learn something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.